Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Would like for everyone to be mindful of the thirst and the urgency and the need to speak on the situation. I think a lot of times people don't realize how insensitive it could be to have opinions on things that you have no understanding of outside of what you're being told. I think that we confuse ourselves prematurely past judgment and we're not realizing how much we can directly and indirectly affect everyone involved with our unwarranted opinions. So with that being said, I'm going to reserve my opinions and I'm going to wish the best for everyone involved. Everybody probably need to mind their damn business until the truth is undisputed. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, Boss Talk 101 Reviews, man. Uh, ECO checking in, man. Buster Rhyme speaks out. You know, I believe it's extra. Somebody was talking with him about, asked the question. The question came up about Diddy, and this is the way that he addressed it. Um, the one thing I can surely assure you of is what he says and what's happening is definitely on two different levels. There's a lot of podcasters. There's a lot of different people, whether it be people, the naysayers, people who were so-called friends of his, people are speaking out no matter how you look at it. But Buster Rhyman said, mind your damn business. But this stuff is in the public eye, so there are people talking about it. But I do agree with him that there is nobody that has really... Um, you know, uh, her, you know, suffered like, you know, his kids and different people that's attached to him, but himself, you know, the things, the people that say they done, he done this, done that. It's really unclear to what charges he's being prompted of. They talk about the smearing of the, uh, smear campaign for the liquor. They talk about this. Somebody raised the serial number off the gun. You heard this, all this alleged stuff that you keep hearing, but you see him pressing the, the issue with this, the Cassie ordeal. There's things going on, but you know me, you know, I have to have a little help on it, man. OG, you're there. I want to hear what you got to say about it. That's right. That's right. And, and, and just, just like you're saying, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of, of Puffy. He's a weirdo, but that's what America does, but he hasn't done anything out of the realm of what America has been doing. What they talking about a freak off was is, is a swinger party in white America. Okay. The, the chicken ranch in Las Vegas. All of these things that are going on. Nobody said that he ever went to a state and grabbed somebody and put them in an airplane and brought them back and sex slaved and is sex trafficking. But it's all about him refuting and having a discrimination suit against the number one uh, alcohol distillery in the world, in England. And when he sued them for the racial discrimination, that's when he got his Cassie troubles. You got to look at all of these naysayers that we're the first ones to jump on each other's back. White people don't say nothing about us. They just let us attack each other. But don't you think it's commendable the way that Buster Rhymes, because a lot of his so-called friends haven't stepped or said anything. They'll sidetrack that whole question that nobody spoke on his behalf. This is kind of the, one of the first people. You heard a few, but very you can count them on one hand. Ray J might have been another, but it's just like... You don't, want to, you don't want to lose your job or your position to defend me. When white Americans say I'm down, you know, we didn't defend Bill Cosby. We don't defend the people that help us. We'll, we'll defend white America until we i will sacrifice our children but whatever they say they, you you didn't hear a uh, white people hollering about a uh, harvey weinstein and all of, he got he got sentenced to 30 years he at home right now but nobody talk about that huh i thought he i thought he ended up killing himself or something no that was the other one no that's uh, uh that was the other oh, that they killed him you uh. know because he, he talked to me on the island. He was getting ready to give everybody up. So uh, they they killed him. But Harvey Weinstein, that was the first one they got arrested. And some of the allegations, even now, that boy that be on um, America's Got Talent, uh, the football player that next said that he grabbed him on his ass. And so, but old, old Harvey oh. on the street. Wow. I, like I said, I, I look at Buster Rhyme as a friend. They got music together. You know, I'm pretty sure they they real really cool. You know, partners. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if anybody reaching out to Diddy, or even you know, going to see him or asking him if he need anything. Are there any stumped down people that's right there by his side that knew that they wasn't a part of the shenanigans? You know. 
you know, no, not in the same position. Buster Rhymes ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't he ain't rich like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that he cares about a deal or not. He comfortable in what he's doing. So it's a lot of us know the truth, but we won't speak it. You know? Wow. And whatever Diddy did is among us, and it shouldn't be advertised in front of his family if he had a million bottles of baby oil that's his business well he had that baby oil and then he, he had an incident with cassie you know they had the guns you know there's i don't know how many different situations that they're concocting up to say this is a part of what we're doing to stop this so-called freak off situation which i've never seen nobody get stopped from freaking off I, it's the first time i've seen this if, if, if that was the case, they need to uh, dig up Hugh Hafner and charge him for free calls. I wonder how many people are still alive that were in those free calls with Hugh Hefner that looking at this situation and saying, man, I'm glad Hugh Hefner's not here and we're not going through the same situation. No, they're they saying, they, I'm glad we white. That's what they're saying. Wow. So... You, so you saying you think if P Diddy was a brother, I mean was a white guy, he wouldn't be going through these issues? Man, that man offered a fifty million dollar bail. You should have. You're entitled to a bail for anything other than murder, bro. So if you you his crime is so heinous that you you can't put up fifty million dollars for your freedom, and you know he ain't going nowhere because where he was, he came back listening to a white attorney. Oh, we we just need to go and talk to the prosecutor. He ain't been out since. Wow, wow! I I, I really really understand, man. It, it can it can get crazy. It can get thrown the way the things can go. I, um, I I I just trips out off of it. Um, the way that they're doing, and it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy to me the way that it's going down. And they may not even take him to trial, but he'll be ruined in the me uh, music industry. The the bottling company did. Man, once you cross America, bro, they never forgive you. Now you, every Negro got an expiration date. So, do you think that he can make? You think that you think that he'll be able to? Uh, you think he's gone and he won't be able to deal with this? His money won't help him. It's pretty much over for Diddy. And it's like they're gonna ruin him down to. But if it should be an example to every other celebrity. Be mindful how you handle white America because you do have, you're not exempt. Wow. Guys, hey, man, make sure you got to get into the comments, uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and just uh, let us let us know, guys, basically, uh, do you agree with OG that uh, if P. Diddy was uh, uh, of another color, if he was not, if he was white, would he still be going through the same thing? <laughs> uh, let us Free puppy, free puppy is what you're saying, man. I mean, and Buster Rhymes stepped up, man. So, hey, man, make sure you guys let us know in the comments. Do you agree with OG? Free puppy. Free puppy. <laughs> and the baby oil. And the baby oil. Wow, man. It's been another great segment with the Boss Talk 101, man. Boss Talk 101 reviews, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.